Hi Kartik. Hi, hi Arvind. How are you doing? Fantastic, Kartik. How are you? Nice to see you after a long time. Yes, uh, I'm doing great. It's very Good long one. time. It has been so, a quite a lot of time. We both met. Yeah. Yes. So how is quarantine and things for you? I see a lot of exercise and all those from your side. For me, I'm enjoying. To be frank, <laughs> this is the right time to uh, spend a lot of time with the family and uh, yeah, getting back my olden memories. I'm doing the same thing what I did like long time back. That that's nice to hear. You you spend a lot of good time with family. Obviously, uh, yeah. Then, Karthik, okay. like, any special? What is special? Like nothing special today. I have invited in my, you in my show, so that's something special to me. Like I have been fascinated about diving for a very long time. So, like to to go inside the show, like I wanted to tell you, like how it all started, and then like we will take your whole journey towards it. So before doing that, I want to introduce Aravin to you guys. So Aravin is a full-time scuba dive instructor, and he's the director of Temple Adventures in Pondicherry. So it is one of the leading dive schools in southern India. And then, like he's doing a, a lot of things. He's a, he's an instructor for disabled people to have an experience underwater. He is doing conservation uh, with regards to ocean, and like he he's doing a lot of things to say. Uh, so in this journey, I'll let you know what what all he has done, and you I I obviously think you guys are going to blow your minds off for sure. And then a lot of scuba diving. uh tips and then how to take your career forward in scuba diving and i also have a lot of questions as well arvin to post to you so thanks for joining the show and thanks for your time with pleasure okay. no problem i'm happy to uh give any kind of details regarding diving no problem that's awesome people would be like very interested to know because this is an upcoming industry right now and people are in search of it i would say So, uh, Arvind, so how it all started to you? Like how scuba diving? Why scuba diving? And what happened? Maybe a ten years, twelve years behind your journey? No, much more behind. So I would say like thirty years before. Thirty no. years. No, like thirty. When I was two years old, I can start my story from there. Yeah, my sure, my, sure, my, sure. my parents. My parents are fully education trained. so they are pd teachers okay let me uh, so when i my when my dad that they put me in the water very engaged to a be live very close to the shore so i started swimming in the ocean the ocean is a very tidy friend for me <laughs> right so to do the water the engaged swimmer it's a garden yeah the engaged swim engaged swim in india like that so in those days in, in mid 70s uh people used to read down in the vigor and they be magazine so if they still remember on the on the front page my photo will be there it says like english from in india oh that's so nice that's, to hear that's right? how my journey started oh, yeah oh my god okay <laughs> then <clears throat> then normally i am a sports person so i don't like studies so every time uh instead of going to school I was always like to go on the ground. So I played volleyball. I I played national, I played at junior India and a uh, couple of states and youth and nationals. So what I'm So like how come you know, and, you were into the waters at a very small age? Like how did you come to know about scuba diving? Like there is a sport like you can do and then experience the under So what happened my dad my dad my dad took me under in 1997 very long time. 1997 right so that's my first dive okay with the navy one of my dad's friend he is a navy diver so he took me to show our underwater world that's my first dive experience so i liked it that's just a small dive i think like i was in the i was on the water for like 20 to 30 minutes i think 20 to 30 minutes yeah so then actually then i met rob patrick he is my friend is from australia also david and so because of them I was introduced to scuba diving. So, okay. actually, Rob is my instructor later. 
so I done up to a day master with him yeah then we plan to start together in india somewhere south india mainly focusing on chennai or pondicherry or wherever look suitable place like how so do you think like days, people from india would relate to scuba diving a lot and then like something you can run a business or uh, like how would you think of it in boom after a few years or something no when no no okay. then, that's what i said when we start in 19 uh, 2007 we plan to start we are looking for locations so no one know what is scuba diving we are go for approach to get the permissions nobody know where to get the permission who will give the permission right and it's not easy and and lack of swimming so most south indians uh, yeah the people who live in uh, villages yes of course they know how to swim the people who live in city they don't know how to swim and they are scared of uh, ocean too yeah so they're very challengeable business so when we started It's a ten by ten small room with like seven set of tanks and the four set of equipment. It's very small, okay. and no customers. <laughs> right? Obviously, it's that's a new, the deal. It's a new, it's a newly born business. So we waited, waited, waited. We have waited for like not one year, two years. We have we have waited up to twelve, two to twelve, seven to twelve. We waited. Okay. Then what happened because of uh, the movie? Actually, the help. जिंदगी में तुम्हारा यू रिमेंबर द हिंदी नेम या या द हिंदी मूवी जिंदगी दैट मूवी वाज हेल्प्ड द लॉट यस यस सो दैट मूवी हेल्प्ड द लॉट सो व्हाट हैपन द लॉट ऑफ आईटी कंपनी लॉन्च इन चेन्नई एंड बेंगलुरु पीपल यूज्ड टू कम हियर एंड स्टे दे वर्क वी वर गेटिंग अ गुड क्राउड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द आईटी कंपनी सो व्हाट हैपन दे दे सिट इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एंड एट द वीकेंड दे नीड सम रिलैक्सेशन so they find scuba diving is the best sport. medicine yeah, i would say <laughs> yeah it's and what is a relaxed sport so that's yes. how we started getting a business computer and well okay so before starting this business like uh, who who like gave you some career career guidance like how do you become an instructor or take it forward more of it this credit this credit goes to rob and dave okay so initially how did you start like Like your uh, your career towards scuba diving, you plan to be. In I'm. A, I okay. Before 2000, uh, before 2007, uh, I used to work as a tennis coach and swimming coach as a fitness trainer. Okay. Right. Then because I did only a couple of dives in, uh, and then I started the open water course. Right. So the Rob and Dave encouraged me to do. It's a new profession, right? So it it. They both encouraged me to do up to instructor level, so that's why I'm here. Okay, okay. So they, they, they nice are, all credit goes to them. Yeah. Okay. I I will or uh, for the audience I'll go more deeper towards what is the career guidance and all those, but this is his story of how he be, he become and like he started Temple Adventures basically. So you told uh, you had a first dive experience in uh, Andamans. So how how was it? Yeah. Actually, first no, thing is something special. Just a just a try, just a try dive. So the first thing underwater life is always uh, thrilling. Yes, that's the first dive. Right? Before the dive. No, 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 no. no. I, the ocean is not a. Uh, uh, I told you before, the ocean is my childhood friend. So nothing. But first time seeing underwater, pretty excited, not scary. Scary. Okay. Seeing the fish lies very close by. It's always interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The pictures. Doesn't do justify of what we see under waters. I would say. Right. Exactly. So your first dive experience, you were so uh, like excited towards it. But I was so scared when I first started. Actually, Rob, who's your uh, instructor, took me in uh, during my discover scuba dive, and then I I was pumped up in the boat. But when I got into yes. under waters, it was like I was. Like scared out, and then panicked a little bit, and then like Lo- Rob obviously he is so experienced and he took care of me, like very nice. Of course, yeah, that was very good experience. See, that's why. See, if you get scared, scary, the first time is always get scared, right? Our job is to make you comfortable, then we take you for a dive, so then give you good experience. You get exactly. a good experience. We're helping you to see underwater and uh, showing around, and taking nice pictures with the fishes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. 
uh, so like you have been like may I know how many countries have you traveled and died? We used to travel every year at least two countries. So uh, Philippines, Maldives, Thailand, Cambodia. Yeah, so we should travel. See, driving to one same place is not good. So you need to travel at least, at least yearly once. I know it's pretty expensive, but better to travel. Mm-hmm. Driving only in Pondicherry is not good. Driving only in Chennai is not good. Keep, keep traveling. So you, that, that give you a uh, new introduction to uh, new people, meet people, and you can see different lights in different places. Exactly, exactly. Uh, <laughs> like, Diving is not only about diving, it's like you you become friends with strangers, you be dive buddies. It, it is a whole different process, I would say, you travel to a different I don't think place. so, it's a stranger. So, you, all, all divers are like friends, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <when laughs> Even if you come, it's like a new buddy. Yeah, you, you, so diving is a buddy. We need to check only thing how many dives you dive. Right, okay. so that's it. That's enough. Underwater, yeah. good, we all the same. Need to be aware of uh, what level it is and who's going to take care of uh, each other. That's it. Okay. So as you said, like diving is a little uh, expensive sport, right? A little bit, yes. So how much one should spend on becoming a professional uh, when when he wants to do scuba diving, so how much approximately one should uh, professional in which way? See, the diving is a recreational and commercial. If you are choosing a recreational, and uh, uh, if you are looking for a job, getting a job through diving, like underwater photographer, right? Once you're done diving, open out in advance, then you can you will get a job in uh, uh, aquariums, which is Dubai Aquarium and uh, other. Uh, uh, so if you have a little bit of knowledge of uh, commercial underwater building and cutting and cleaning the hull of the boat, then you get a job in harbor, ports, right? What kind of job are you looking for? What kind of professional? Okay. If you want to become a trainer, if you want to become a trainer like me, uh, like I would teach in diving. So if you want to become a trainer, you could easily like one wand up here. And uh, if you open water to dive master and instructor, it's like easy five, five to six lakhs. Okay, so how, how is the career part thing? Like one of our uh, audiences also wanted to know. Can you tell mm-hmm. me how to start this career? So like what do we do at first and what are the courses we got to, to take till instructor? Right. The, the first thing, the first thing, if people you don't know how to dive, first thing I would say, go and learn swimming. <laughs> oh yes, exactly. Right. And so then learn, I mean, there, is, there is another side to it as well. Right, people have like misperception. Like only if we know swimming, we can dive. That is also right. A different. So if you don't know how to swim, example, if you don't know how to swim, yes, you can dive. Which is Paddy Discover Scuba Diving Program. This this program designed for non-swimmers. Even if you don't know how to swim, yes, you can dive. So okay. example, tomorrow you are visiting. You don't know how to swim. You are calling me, uh, Arvind sir. I just got your number from website, can I come and die, but I don't know how to swim. I say, yes, please come. So what do you need to do? You need to come uh, for a training section. It goes like easy one and a half hours to two hours in the water. So we'll teach you uh, the basic safety skills, how to flood the mass and how to clear the mass, right? What happened when it comes out, how to come back in, what happened with how to swear at the water, how you to share it with your buddy, how to communicate to the instructors, all the safety skills. I think you already done uh, this first about diving program. So you know how the, uh, it looks easy, but it, it's easy, right? But first 10 minutes is going to be uncomfortable because the first time you're carrying the tanks and you'll be underwater breathing from the mouth. So human nature breathing through the nose. Mm-hmm. Now because of the mask, so if you wear the mask, what will happen, see, so nose is inflated, so now you can't use the nose to breathe. So now the breathing option is going to be from the mouth, right? So exactly. that first step is going to be a little confused. Then enjoy. That's it. So once uh-huh. you've done the training, next day what we do, uh, we uh, we ask to come to the dive center. We'll provide the breakfast. And we take to the harbor, and we do another uh, briefing on the about dive site and recall all the skills and everything. 
and about the conditions and where the boat and where inside the boat where the food or where the boats are what the water boat everything what is inside it's just a, a precautions uh die brief right then we take into ocean then instructor mm-hmm. hold your hand they take you for a ride this 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 program designed for under uh, non swimmers and depth limit is going to be 12 meters so yeah it is one of right. wonderful like you have answered for non swimmers exactly what they wanted so when they see this they yes. will understand what and they then, can do then the next level the next level people okay i i love this for uh, the diving but i want to continue how can i get certified yes if you want to become certification is a paddy open water diver license or you already get certified from us yeah. that's a four days course if you want to do that course you need to swim 200 meters and you need to perform 10 minutes float test and you have a uh five video section which goes like four four and a half hours then you have knowledge reviews and quizzes and exams yeah yeah and second day there's a lot of things yeah. inside it you do yeah so first step then, is like you do open waters so next what is the water. next step like after open waters after open water after yes. open water so, oh i i want to finish this so open water is a four days course and first day theory and pool and last two days uh, is going to be under water which is 12 and 18 meters depth so you are certified to dive anywhere in the world up to 18 meters once you done the open water course the next level is advanced open water what level are you karthik me rescue right now yeah okay good one <laughs> see advanced open water course so you get five dives five different dives so you exploring five different dives Uh, like a deep and navigation if you want like photography you can choose a photography you can try photography if you want to drift dive you can try to do this dive so you're choosing uh, five different dives break and dive, trying with that that is break dive also like anything. people can explore anything exactly yes. so yes so then another level after advance then you need to be efr emergency first response you need to know how to uh, give a cpr emergency patient because if you want to do the rescue dive course if you're risking on people in the water you you need to know how to give a cpr and other first aid so before yes. starting a rescue dive course and efr is very important to one of the best thing to do that yeah so then efr and rescue is a combination rescue yeah, was then a hard after, course mm, fun with hard <laughs> fun with hard so we will yes. give a lot of uh, so we will give you on course time you'll give a lot of trouble under water you need to solve it <laughs> exactly exactly right who done your uh, rescue dive course uh rahel yeah good is a good instructor nice yes. so but then have after that i'm doing it <laughs> yeah i understand <laughs> then what you need to do then you have five you need to choose there's other specialties like uh, uh see in advanced course you're trying five different dive you won't get a separate certificate for doing this special course you get advanced open water card but if you do the specialty course then uh, you have exams right for example if you want to do night dive i want night dive certificate and you need to do the exams then you and, and the theory then you real night diving then you get a night diving specialty card no i want to become a photographer i want to become a videographer i want to become a wreck diver right i want to become nitrox diver there's many divings the fish identification mm-hmm. and the dry shoot diver right underwater navigation search and recovery diver just keep going so just if you like to do some specialty uh, yeah do some so, specialty then you you will gain like 40 dive logs in your book once you done your 40 dives minimum then you're eligible to do a dive master course You so that's your dive the, so that's the professional level entry for uh, that's the first level yeah that's the first level yeah first level of uh, professional level entry dive master is not instructor they are assistant for instructors okay that's the base you you learn lot on dive master course exactly how to run the dive center how to clean the equipment how to uh more physics and physiology it's like more deeper in learning in that course so that's when like one like how do after dive master can we start to work and start to earn as such yeah you can you once you done your dive master course you get a job opportunity uh everywhere as a dive master 
like around the globe everywhere okay so there are opportunities for dive masters as well yeah. a lot of okay if you yeah. like example in andaman in andaman uh, uh some temple there is more than uh, 20 to 30 dive masters there now working all of the time period if you get salary for 20 25000 rupees salary the base itself if you managing dive master plus managing the resort then you get additional salaries which is uh which is around 30 to 40 okay or okay. 50k depends right then you will you then what happened then you will uh gaining your experience then later you can do your instructor course okay that's your target okay so that's that's how you 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 take your career forward in diving so yes you yeah. told it yeah. wonderfully like this is how it is what i suggest is if you done your dive master course immediately you can do a dive immediately you can join your idc idc is instructor development course you can become instructor but i suggest at least work as a dive master for at least 6 month to 1 year somewhere so you, you, you get a confident yeah yeah you get a confident then you start your idc okay Okay, perfect. It sounds good for people out there also, like how to craft. Yeah, and it's, and and, and diving is developing sports now, right? See, when we started dive centers here in South India, there's only three, four dive centers now all over India, Goa and Andaman. That's it. Now you know how many dive centers in India? Ah, uh, no, no idea. More like than seventy. Go- oh my God. It it is yeah. it is growing a lot right now. It is growing People a lot. Wanted to Unfortunately, our South in our 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 East Coast is a little challengeable. So yes, yeah, we have we need to break the waves directly get in. But beautiful life here in Chennai and Pondicherry. Yeah, we also so, we are creating like artificial reefs. Reefs exactly. There is there is another lake yeah. called Aravind's Wall. So a little bit of Aravind's Wall uh, story. Like Aravind has a specific dive site in his name, in Pondicherry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see in early, yeah, when we early day of our dive school, we need to explore where the dive centers are. Say, example, Kathi is coming. Okay, I can I dive? I want to do the open water course. Can I dive? If we we don't know where the dive center, how can we take you? So if you decide to uh, start a dive center, mm-hmm. we need to explore where the dive sites are. Right? What is the bottom made of? With the corals or only sand them or mud, we need to check where the dive center, uh, where the dive site, and what depth is going to be. What is the condition? How the fish life? How the fishermen? Where are the fishing happening? Is it safe or not? We need to consider everything. So, I found that wall accidentally. <laughs> right. So we're chasing a big grouper. We're chasing a group oh. big grouper. So it was it was hiding. So actually, me and Rob died together, but Rob went different direction. I went different direction. So I actually lay on the pole. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> a nice story. story. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have died in that place exactly. The caravan. Yeah, but, but, uh, and and, and yeah, but the wall formation really fantastic. If you flew down there in a, that uh, that wall, it's beautiful marine life. So if the wall start the the bottom was thirty two meters depth, then. Uh, We have a big platform, which is like the flat platform. The breadth is 55 meters. Then wall travel north south 200 kilometers length. You get a drop off oh. for 10 meters. So bot top is 32. You then drop off for 10 meters. The bottom sand was 42 meters. So it's it's pretty nice site. Yeah. yeah. So what we nice done? Site. We took the sample collection of that uh, stones and other things to one of the archaeological friend. What he said, uh, or is that all? He said it's twenty-five thousand years before the age of the land. I'm not archaeological person, but okay. might be possible. Yeah, because now the shores are coming closer. Within closer. forty years of experience, the shores coming closer. Just think, like fifteen, twenty years before, definitely you were in some a lot of villages or some village. Yeah, you you have actually worked with the archaeological department a lot, right? Like yes, yeah, so. So a little bit light on like yeah. what 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 have you like found out some insights on those aspects? 
Oh, so even the tsunami came in, the, the lot of things, the structures was came out, right? So mm-hmm. I dived in Mahab, I, dived, I did like more than 300 dives in Mahab. Right? Mm-hmm. Also we dived in Bhubagar, we dived in Dwaraka, all like submerged cities, of course. So, see, within our depth limit, yes, we can dive. This is mm-hmm. more than our depth limit, only the ROVs can <laughs> do it, remote operating vehicles. So with the camera, we need to sit and operate, that we can do. Within our depth limit, yes, we can explore. Okay, so optimistic on the voice is breaking. Come to Pranav, that Saravan who pushed me to. Okay, do you hear me now? Yeah, so was this? Okay. Uh, so that Saravan <laughs> who pushed me to overcome my fears to discover the beauty. That's of my job. Tangible. That's my job, of course. Come again, again, definitely. <laughs> Nanda Kumar. Sorry, like you Nanda have. Kumar. You have made people to... So, they, yeah, this is a big question with people. So, they are all feared of diving. Like, you are an like, ocean person. Reason, you know, main ocean. reason? I'll tell you why people get scared. Two reasons. One, lack of swimming. Two, movies. <laughs> yeah. Movies scared you. Right? Yeah, actually... Deep Blue Sea, Jazz 1, Jazz 2, Jazz 3, right? So, what happened? All the movies, the shark, they, they show the shark right there. Uh, it'll... it'll uh, it will come, yeah, chase them. you, come and yeah, bite you, yeah. Exactly. So it is actually so the first question with people, like sharks eat people and all those. And I want to clarify yeah. this with you as well. I have seen people diving with uh, great white tiger sharks, like hammerheads. Uh, a lot so if you see, we are visitors. People. We are visitors for their world. We have to respect the nature. We are. We have to respect them, right? So disturb them. If you any any sharks going, enjoy it. Just stay away. Just enjoy. Instead so of chasing, it's not going right? to chasing, affect, yeah. Like they are not going to eat you right no. away, right? Unless no, you no, no. them a lot. <laughs> yeah, Kartik Thai is not tasty one, so no problem. <laughs> <laughs> right? But but so if you if you don't disturb people. if you don't disturb the marine life, it won't disturb you. Well said, well said. It's true. You and also you need to have a see, uh, the scorpion fish, the scorpion fish and electric rays like, will hide under the sand, right? If you want to uh, kneel down to do the skills or if you do something, you need to check before where you're kneeling down. Why you need to keep any corals, you need to stay away, you need to stay away from the bottom. You need to maintain your buoyancy then, then enjoy it. Yeah, so that you can avoid touching the corals that will damage uh, the corals or damage yourself also. Exactly. So, what is the best moment yeah. uh, while you were diving? Best moment. Each and every yeah. dive are best moment. <laughs> exactly. Exactly for all Each and every moment. Is. Yeah. Every yeah. moment you love being underwater. Yeah. Like something and specifically. A special, uh, specifically, uh, something I special. Um, yeah. Diving with whale sharks and diving with uh, mantas. Okay. Fantastic. So, when when did you experience it? Like at what place in Pondi, in Pondi, in, no, in Wall we found uh, manta rays like 10 times, whale sharks more than, very, very frequently now. And whale sharks are very close because we have created the artificial reef, right, which is a temple reef, right. We have created the artificial reef for the uh, fish growth. So because of that, the sedi- bottom, sedi- bottom sediment become very rich. And because of that, a lot of fish is coming, and because of that, the whale sharks also frequent visit as much. So, yeah, diving with whale shark yeah. is one of my lifetime experiences. Very cool one, yes. I would say, yeah, it is the biggest fish it is actually. Very, it's a, yeah, <laughs> it is very I, beautiful. Yeah, you you happen to share uh, space with all those wonderful creatures of our planet Earth. I would say. A manta, right. it is also so big and huge. They, like yeah. I heard in an interview of you saying a scary experience with mantra race. Manta race. It's not a scary experience. It's not okay, a scary it experience. It's a funny experience. It's a funny experience because okay. I was I was concentrating on other thing, right? I'm trying to remove the anchor, my full concentration on some other thing. Right? For example, you're doing something real serious work, someone come and <laughs> Like uh, they try okay. to scare you, what do you do? That kind yes, of experience. Okay, okay. So, see, my concentration to remove the anchors, one big mantra just above me, just a little bit of uh, then I'm doing a normal. 
Yeah, yeah. Then I started I enjoying. I I heard it in an interview, so just wanted to put it across here. Yes, um, yes, yes. So you say whales and sharks and all those they don't eat people all the time unless you disturb them, yeah. right? So that's, that's right. exactly so. So that's what I also wanted to convey. And then uh, a few more questions. What I received from our uh, audience. Like one of one of the guys asked cheapest and best spot for diving. What is the cheapest and best in spot India? for diving? Yeah, in India. In India, Pondicherry. <laughs> okay. You, okay then. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I think he got the answer. Yeah, Pondy, Pondy, Andamans, uh, Goa also nice. Yeah, but that's what I said. You need to visit. Need to dive everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So has as the sports has become like you told seventy dive schools around India coastal lines. So how how the how are uh, oceans are getting polluted? Because of divers, dive centers, more dive centers. Not um, just because of dive centers, people how how are dive centers are helping actually. So dive centers they are exactly. trying to clean the bottom. Yeah, all the divers are. Uh, see, you, you are open out of dive. You are done up to risky level. Did you now? Maybe before, yes. You started to, after eating the biscuit. You throw in the plastic bag. I'm talking like ten, fifteen years before. Can you do that now? No. You won't I'm, do that. I'm so see, responsible. See, if I if I if I become a yeah if if I become a diver or like a diving instructor, dive, doesn't matter any kind of dive level you are. They won't pollute the ocean. They try to save the ocean. Okay. So, how were you about a picture went viral on a a whale which had which it died and then it came into the shore and then when they opened it up they saw tons of uh, plastic inside a whale. Hope you have seen those pictures in the internet. It went viral. So, yeah. So, how did you feel about it uh, when you saw? As a diver. Not only that. Sports. See, that's the only that's the one uh, incident was. You are noticed. As we are noticing, like we are diving every day, we are noticing many like this. And right? see, hundred years before, how the how is your village going to be? If you should check with your granddad, they'll tell you, "Oh, my village is really beautiful." Now it's not like that, right? If I would say like my OMR, which is IT Highway, now forty years before is going to be a fantastic village, right? And the river, which is just behind my house, that has very clean water. Now it is not. Who's mistake? All human made errors. What we are doing? Maybe I I would done the same mistake, like 20, 30 years before. Even I eaten the same biscuit packet. I throw the plastic bottles on the beach sides, right? Maybe I can use all the plastic beach I unused thing. This just throwing randomly on the roadside or even out the in front of the road. What happened? The rain comes. These all everyone knows this. So when rain comes, just washed away in the river. The river taken to the ocean, right? Yes. Then still polluted. You would never believe what I documented, which is like nine hundred crore tons of plastics made in uh, all over the world in nine, from nineteen fifties, right? Mm-hmm. Only nine percent was recycled. Only nine percent were recycled, right? Need the remaining. Yes, it's pathetic. Fifty lakh, fifty lakh, fifty lakhs metric tons of plastic waste enter in our ocean every year. Yeah. Who's going to clean it? See, now this is an example. Think like two, three months of lockdown period. How the pollution control? Exactly. Right. It's it's no we, pollution. No pollution right. here. Here before like no birds like three four months before very less birds. No birds everywhere. You can see the, the the pollution and the 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 Kaveri Ganga river was clean and ocean was getting clean just in two months. They are all human made errors. So we have yes. to do something. There are so, a lot of people to do the show cleanup. Yes, I think and you have been doing it. I think you have been yeah, doing it. Yeah, only divers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue. So you you also have a, a project called Project Aware, right? Where you? Yeah, that's a part. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. a part. Can of, you yes. just can you just so share like project, project aware? Yeah, project aware do a lot of uh, events. Conduct a lot of events. Through project aware, we also doing a lot of events. So like, um, like the most is underwater cleanup. 
and oh, giving okay. a uh, awareness, awareness program for the kids, right? Awareness program for the rural areas, how to uh, separate the plastics and how to de- recycle properly, right? Okay. So I would say, don't wait for a specific, uh, some organization will organize a cleanup event. Then I want to participate. I know everybody busy working only Sunday, having a time to clean. No problem. Just participate, but don't wait. Like the the party, don't wait for the environment day. Only that day you need to be clean. Exactly. No. Ocean day, not necessary. Why you need to wait for the specific day to be to do the cleanup? Then do it every day, or do do at least a week whenever you have free time. Clean your area. If you clean exactly. your area, everybody do that. Then there's no clean so clean everywhere. Yeah. yeah so and main, see, see, still a lot of uh, garbage in the ocean. Right? Only divers can clean it up. We are doing yes. it, but we are keep on cleaning. We keep on coming. <laughs> okay, so we have one question from Benoit. Does prior unaided snorkeling experience help when you start diving? Yes, snorkeling is totally different. See, see uh, for diving, you need to carry this tank, right? You see the tank? Yeah, this is an 18 yeah, kg yeah, tank, so and big. you have a BCD, and regulator, and things, mass, yeah. That, that helps to dive, that helps to breathe underwater, right? Snorkeling, only surface. So, there's a small snorkel comes um, out of the water, you just put a head, and just snorkel. Yes, of course, you learn a little bit of skill how to breathe from the mouth, and you can learn how to clear the mask while snorkeling time. That will help uh, for if you want to do diving. Yes. Yeah, Benoit, I think he has answered you. Also, there are a lot of certifications uh, in scuba diving, right? Like pa- PADI, and then SSI, yeah. and then NAVI. Yeah. There are a lot. So, like, what all these certifications uh, do? Which one to choose? Like, how do you go? I suggest uh, so PADI. PADI, everybody knows what is PADI, right? PADI is a professional association of diving instructors. That's PADI certified over all over like 70 percent worldwide. Okay. Oh, okay. So we, PADI. PADI is one of the best. You are saying, and then globally yeah. accepted. PADI. Okay. You can see PADI on my right hand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. PADI always. Yeah. There are also the PADI International set safety guidelines and equipment maintenance, teaching, certification, and procedure for recreation diving worldwide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so many organizations. Like more, than, like more than 200, more than 200 organizations, not like four. 200. A lot of organizations. The PADI is very famous. Okay. So it is good to take paddy and then start diving. And then uh, yes. I, I've, I've seen you uh, like doing uh, dives with uh, uh, like disabled people. Like how did that idea yeah. come up to you? I'm you sorry. fell down. Yeah. You fell down, the camera fell down. <laughs> camera. <laughs> sorry, sorry about this, guys. That's fine, that's fine. So... When I was working as a swimming trainer, right? Yeah. Swimming and fitness. People use uh, disabled people come to my where I teach swimming pool. Uh, the physiotherapists do the fitness strengthening exercise for the injured person. The water is motion, aqua therapy okay. actually, right? Okay. I was watching that and talking like twenty years before. So I would keep watching. I mean, I was pretty interested on that. So when, after starting diving, I was interested. I'm taking up specifically a uh, disabled. I want to teach disabled. I like to teach disabled. Okay. So it's very challenging, but I loved it. I'm still liking it. <laughs> yeah, that is I'm, actually I'm, my only, I'm the only one person in India to teach disabled paddy adaptive techniques. And uh, yeah, I'm the person sector. And so I'm also get a certificate from DDI, Disabled Diving International. That's 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 my actually a honor to have you here, Arvind. Yes, thank you so much. So I we I, I heard you. a story. 
Sorry? I want to show you a few of the scientific case. Not scientific case, but I thought a uh, lot of uh, beginners here. You would love to see. Uh, is this? So this is my master instructor card. Yeah. So yeah. after your instructor course, once you done, once you become instructor, then your IDC staff instructor, specialty instructor, IDC staff, and master instructor, then course director. So very few few people in India in this level. Yeah. Then. Uh, and what is this? This is the side mount diver instructor. Yeah, so you can carry two instead of carrying a tank on the back, you can carry two tanks on the on your side. And this is my uh, instructor trainer card. I can set it for you as a EFR instructor. Okay. So instructor trainer for EFR. Yeah. Okay. This is my. Uh, Ida, I'm also free diver too. I got, I'm a free diving instructor. My okay. my max breath hold is four minutes and fifty seconds. Oh my god! I so you are a free diving instructor as well. Uh, so I'm a free diving instructor, and oh. I did my four minutes and fifty seconds of breath hold. That's that's like a different yeah. or um, level altogether. Yeah, and this is my disabled diver part. I can teach. Yeah. I think you must have a separate uh, wardrobe for your yeah, cards. <laughs> see that? You can read that? Yes. Free yes, diving. Yes, free diver. Uh, free diving instructor. Yes. It's upside down, I think, no? Yes. Mirror view. Is. Yeah, it is mirror, upside right? down. Oh. Mirror view. So, yeah, I have a lot of cards. Cards. Uh, you must have uh, separate uh, shelf for it. <laughs> and treasure uh, them yes. for sure. Yeah. Oh, I, I have a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a lot. Another, another bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> I think for so, the yeah, show, I, I like keep showing cards. Yeah. Like so, so I love I love teaching disabilities and and uh, people don't know how to uh, walk. Uh, the visibility challenge, tough, dam, right? Paraplegic, quadriplegic. Anybody can buy. So, okay. That's another. Just need a little bit of training, more patience. Okay. I think so. Yeah. So, don't you feel bored of diving? Like all these fifteen years, I think you have been diving, and like, don't you have? Have you not felt like, oh, it's boring? I should do something else. No, 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 no. We will, we will get bored. We won't get bored. But keep on doing the same thing. We need some relax. Right? We need to do something different than what we do. I don't think it's a bore. It's just a small break. Okay. Right. So. We also do at least three months once or four months once. I'm a paraglider too. I'm a certified paraglider. I'm flying from 2010. Like you are uh, into adventure sports a lot. You, you yeah, also I'm a skydiver. Also I'm a skydiver. I'm a certified skydiver. So you just went to Dubai and you did it in skydive Dubai, right? I do, I done with skydive Dubai. Yes. That's that's nice to. So I wouldn't say it's a boring, but small break from our regular activity. So once we come back, we get a refresh mind. Mind, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So how safe is diving? Basically, like people are scared, and then we spoke about this. So how safety measures are made, and then like what precautions do we take if something mis if something happens in between our dives? Okay, now uh, you done your rescue diver course. Yes. You tell me a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Safety measures, I would say we will uh, check our equipments uh, at the start. We, we take our equipments, we find whether it suits us and all those. So there is no uncomfortability down the water. And then regular uh, check of air is done and then like the equipments works or not. So basically this is done and then sorted out. And while you go to a dive, there is again a body check where you uh, check out all the equipments are in place and then like whether air comes in or goes out and then your buddy's uh, air comes in or goes out. So you check all these and then you are prepared to dive. And then when you go underwater and if you think something uh, you aren't fine, you can go up 
if you are in a certain point of time or else like people obviously instructor is there, there to guide you and then like sometimes maybe the tank or valve is closed and then like you got to check all these and then when you go in obviously instructors are there you know you don't have to worry a lot but these are the safety measures is done before uh, we do, we go for diving and then obviously you yeah, develop you're, skills yeah you are you are right so obviously you right. develop See, skills and that's how you have confidence to dive you are right see if you have a bike in your home if you have a car before if you if you plan to do a long drive you have to check your fuel you have to check your brake it's right the air is right or wrong right check everything yes. why are you doing that yeah i got one comment who is that uh benoy uh benoy yes benoy always welcome yeah we are all waiting for uh, lockdown to finish so meanwhile be safe <laughs> yeah get 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 fit yourself yeah instead of sitting just sitting just do some exercises okay yeah, i hope you answered right, so, the question ben so what what yeah. are, what are the like physically how do we get uh, trained for diving do we have to take care of ourselves a lot because of the lung capacity people like we train for all those nowadays maybe seeing from far away and then so how do you prepare physically for diving see you do you can do exercises right like just do jogs some cardio exercise if you have free time See the before and after diving, you need to uh, at least twelve hours. No diving before. No, no exercise before and after diving. Same like flying after diving, like maybe twelve or eighteen hours, right? For single dive, double dive. Same. If you want to do exercise, you need a. You can't. You can't diving after exercise also. There's a time. So you need to plan according to that or what exercise you can do. Uh, if you have free time or day after time. But it is necessary to, to like. Uh, Build not not only for that, not only for, of course yes see it's better it's good for your health not only for diving it's good for diving too but good for your health and same time if you want to uh, become a good diver don't smoke don't drink <laughs> yeah stay obviously. away from that I won't drink I won't smoke okay but people do who like smoke uh, people who are uh, in diving they also drink and smoke right so what is the disadvantage of it in diving i don't think so even instructors on diving thing they, they won't drink and smoke maybe once they, they come back on the last mm-hmm. 10 days to have a small beer and uh, smoke uh, this is their personal thing yeah exactly no does it affect diving is my like question like if we consume those does it affect diving mm-hmm. not really but little bit of uh, uh you feel you feel little bit of discomfort if you keep doing it lungs 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 is getting damaged if you keep smoking right yes so it is good to avoid them basically especially for diving it is so good to avoid them and then uh, the like i think i have almost covered all And then, like I had a good time, I can actually keep talking to you for hours together about that. Not a problem. You can talk. You can talk any question. <laughs> sure. And then, like, uh, okay, like people wanted to know. It was also another uh, question and answer question which I posted in my story. Snorkeling spots in and around Chennai. I like, ex diving is no. expensive. No, no. There is no. There is no snorkeling place. There is no snorkeling place. Our our ocean is not like Andaman. Rameshwaram, yes. Rameshram, there's a nice spot. It's very shallow. Then there you can do a lot of snorkeling. Mm, not in our east coast. Not in Chennai or not in Pune. But if visibility is good, maybe uh, near Temple Reef. If visibility is good, then you can see a lot of fish life. Because this is good, then you can see up to twelve meters. You can see all the fish life. Now that time you can do a lot of snorkeling. Okay. Okay. So, so doing all these adventure activity. So, how do you train your mind to do all this and then be physically fit? And then, like, how do you push yourself to all these limits? Like, you have been skydiving, paragliding, uh, free diving is a different sport. Scuba diving is a different sport. So, how do you prepare yourself to do all these activities? We need to find a, a own time somehow. <laughs> okay. See. Example: If you have a 
if you have a job like 10 o'clock people you wake up like 7 o'clock to like 45 minutes or 1 hour jog or exercise then you go instead of uh, waking up at 9:30 and doing everything fast i have time i don't have no time office getting late it's pointless so if you have uh, if you want to go office at 8 o'clock wake up like morning 6 o'clock do work out and go if you want to go office at 7 o'clock wake up like 5 o'clock and do five your own time <laughs> that that's actually you, you found it very simple but that's a big deal i would say like preparing your mind to push limits and you want to explore a lot of things and like you are into a lot of adventures i know personally also like you are doing a lot but i don't know how you train yourself but this is simple and you told what is needed i would say yeah it is very simple right you need to plan you need to, you, need, you have to plan your own time i can't say oh. i don't have time <laughs> you have like more than 12 hours okay so if you want to thank somebody like whom would it be in your uh, professional life and then uh, in your personal life in diving or uh, yeah in diving everywhere i i have different different chapters see in my childhood of course my my parents they introduced me in the ocean my dad and my mom of course then in volleyball i would say still my dad because my dad also indian player i would thank sundarajan sai is my uh, volleyball trainer and those days who helped me uh, my friends uh, like two of my friends also sitting here which is dinagaran and badraja and kushot i would like a lot of uh, good friends for me so i would thank for them in that period for volleyball period okay for diving of course uh, rob and david and uh uh malati ma'am rajiv sir lot of people yeah they are part people. of my group lot of people are helping me in different different stages so okay. so yeah, we will get lot of this she will get lot of disgrace before yeah, if you want to of course yeah you want I to start, it, you want to become a success right you have to just throw that uh uh discouragement you need to take the discouragement as a one step right okay one discouragement step go for one mm-hmm. more step you'll get one more discouragement over there you go one more step then you go going up just <laughs> keep discouraged you <laughs> yeah keep root discouraged you still there so we are up already Okay, I have last one. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still growing. I'm still, I'm still growing up. So <laughs> you have, you have done a lot. Like you are being humble here. I would say you have done a lot, and people are inspired by you. Like you have been featured everywhere. I would say not like the Hindu, maybe or else any newspaper for that matter, or over media and all those. One like personal question from my side i want to know which is your favorite diving spot that you haven't dived it mm, it's a uh, uh one second it is a north red sea lot of good beautiful red diving place in north red sea not the red jordan sea, egypt north red sea egypt uh, which is like jordan and israel ah. lot of uh, beautiful websites exactly <laughs> yeah my favorite i would say it would be hawaii going there diving mm-hmm. with yeah, sharks hawaii also yeah a wonderful yeah. Uh, place to dive and then lead away have a good time there it's it's nice yes. diving spot thank thanks a lot arvin for sharing all your Perfect. experiences yeah, okay one here. more thing i need to thank uh, one more friend also sitting here party ben and i need to thank my wife also because she's supporting a lot see what i do a lot of uh, adventure even you know all adventure is part of uh, uh, risk involved she also yes. supporting me to do all the things yes so. yes and that's <laughs> the day <laughs> yeah you you got to thank a lot of people in your in your circle i have a big list say. i want to thank yes yes, <laughs> yes i just want to know a few people so that you you don't like forget them Like you have a gratitude, and then you wanted to thank them personally. In my show, I felt I wanted to do this. Thanks a lot, Arvind, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then thanks a lot for no the time. And then your career guidance, no, so much scuba diving. Yeah. 
hopefully you. i do my so next courses uh, with temple adventures i'm so anytime, anytime. eager and waiting to looking forward to do my courses hope you will come my instructor at that point of time when you are available sure yeah definitely okay. thank you thanks a lot thank for your time and thanks thank for you. thanks for your lovely section and hope you don't enjoy it. if you have any doubts you can you can ask me yeah, yeah. or you can bring me in my number i'm always oh, sure. like I'm i always i am i am just starting my career so anything uh, you wanted to start you can ask me any other higher level you can obviously ask karvan dm him in his uh, instagram profile thank you thank you a lot for your time good day so we are all waiting to finish the lockdown so even the lockdown finish i'm not sure the corona everywhere the be safe meanwhile and stay home and just uh, be careful with the announcement and uh, the rules and just follow the rules be safe thank sure, you guys sure, sure. thanks thank a nice section kartik Thank thanks. you. Thanks, thanks a lot. I'm so honored to having yeah. having you on the show. It's a privilege. Right, Kartik. Okay. <laughs> Thank you then. Bye. Bye. See you then. Bye bye. Bye bye.